The real proof of success is to raise other successors. When you know what is written, you can write up the devil in every area of your life. You shall know the truth, and the truth you know shall make you free. You are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you, and the message coming right up is crafted by heaven, not just to challenge you, but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's Word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me and receive God's Word through His choice vessel, Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Hallelujah. Please turn your Bibles to Luke 5 and Luke 6. Luke 5, 15, if you will, please. And Luke 6, 17 to 19. But so much the more, when there a fame abroad of him, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities they came first and foremost to hear and then they came to be healed of their infirmities let's look at Luke 6 17 to 19 and he came down with them and stood in the plain and the company of his disciples and a great multitude of people out of all Judea and Jerusalem and from the sea coast of Tyre, you go see Dawn, which came to hear him and to be healed of their what? Diseases. And they that were vexed with unclean spirits, and they were healed. And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for the when virtue of power out of him and healed them few. Oh yeah. And healed them mostly. And heal many of them. Oh boy. And heal them all. Wow. Jesus carries the power and the ability and the capacity, listen carefully, and the willingness to heal all. Glory to God. For the assignment this morning, hear and be here. Rogic online on site. Listen carefully. You hear and you will be healed. And you will be healed of all diseases. Because the Bible declares Jesus Christ is the same. My God, I feel him all over. He's the same yesterday. He is the same today and he's the same forevermore. Our Father and our God, we thank you again for the awesome privilege to gather under this open heavens. I beseech you, our Father, to take a coal of fire from the altar of heaven, place upon the lips and the tongues of clay of this seventh son of yours, that this morning I will come to your people with nothing but an us said the Lord. Moving every man, boy, girl, under the sound of my voice from where we are presently to the place you've reserved and preserved in destiny. The place of divine healing and health and restoration and recovery. As always, we'll return to give you the praise, the glory, and the honor. In Jesus' wondrous name we pray. Somebody once again shout a big amen. Declare, as I hear, I will be healed. Once again, as I hear, 
I must be healed. As I hear, I will surely be healed. In Jesus' name, be seated very comfortably in God's wonderful presence. Hear and be healed. Dearly beloved, today is the last healing and restoration service for this year. Except the losses otherwise. And for those who are relatively new to Rogic and Harm Global, this Sunday is set apart. It's a very special service to speak prophetically to issues that pertain to healing, to health, to recovery, to deliverance. Because we believe according to scripture God is only committed to confirming what God speaks through the mouth of his servants let me say it again God is greatly committed uh, yeah, to fulfilling to performing that which he places in the mouth of his servant to speak Whilst God is sovereign, is all-powerful, is omnipotent, has all power, he can do as he pleases. Primarily, God has chosen to do within the confines of the world. Ayah. He has committed himself not to go beyond the world. The Bible declares he has exalted his word above all of his names. He has by volution and choice bound himself to the word of God. So the word of God will show you what God is willing to do. What he's committed to do. He won't go beyond his word. <laughs> you can cry. You can throw tantrums like a baby in a nursery. You can pull out your hair. God will not out of compassion contradict his word oh, yeah. he has exalted his word above all his names so if we want to get results from God what we simply need to do is to locate the word oh, yeah. agree with the word and simply see the word become a reality in our lives track with me mm. because God and his word they are one Bible declares in Isaiah 44 verse 26 that God is a God that confirms the word of his servant and performs the counsel of his messengers huh. he confirms <laughs> he performs it was said concerning Apostle Peter in Acts 10 44, I believe it is, that whilst yet the apostle was speaking in the house of Cornelius, not after, not before, whilst he spake, the Holy Ghost fell upon them who what? Who heard the word. Conda who heard the word that means as the apostle of god spake god was scanning in that room for as many in the room were hearing the word could it be i just feel like preaching and teaching but help me you see could it be in that same room brother sister that there were some people in logic on the same day as the word was being proclaimed, some heard the word. But others, though they were seeming to hear, did not hear the word. And so therefore, the Holy Ghost became selective. He was not selective based on your gender. Based on your color, what you wore, your tribe, your dogma, your doctrine. No. He was selected based on those who were hearing. 
So the Holy Ghost fell on those who heard the word. And I, I want to go ahead of my sermon today to let you know it is possible to think you are hearing, but you're not hearing. So the game changer is to hear the word. They did not come to receive healing and then to hear. Are you here? Oh, my. There is an order, sir. There is a divine order. There is a protocol. Don't break it. They came first to hear and then to be healed. Keith Moore said, it is possible for those who come to be healed and not to be healed. But it's not possible for those who come to hear and not be healed. So the key to healing, number one, and to sustaining health is to hear the word. As I prayerfully considered what to preach or teach this morning, there were many things that passed through my mind. And I could have come with a shout, with a jump in the prophetic. But the Lord put a message in my Listen carefully. That I honestly believe that if you paid attention to the simplicity of this teaching, listen carefully, it would change your life radically. And you see, many times, People misunderstand the simplicity of the word. The word is so simple that many can miss it. Many like drama. Many like what looks superstitious. Many like all the, uh, 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 the bling bling, the light. But the Bible says that the word of God is simple. Christ is simple. The simplicity of Christ is so simple that the boy in the kindergarten can understand it. It's so simple that the boy in secondary school can understand it. The man who was doing a PhD can understand it. It was the peculiar thing about the ministry of Jesus. He brought the word down to everybody's level. The carpenter, the doctor, the lawyer, the gate man, the driver, the beautician, the barber. Everybody could understand the gospel. You see, the gospel becomes most effective when it is understandable by everybody. And this morning, I'm saying that to say this, don't you dare overlook the simplicity of this message it can if you pay attention radically change your life amen. your amen sounds like it needs a revival amen. you know why a preacher can preach to create attention to himself and I'm a preacher myself over three decades you can the Bible says we preach Christ and not ourselves. So which means it is possible to preach yourself, not Christ. <laughs> and when a preacher preaches self, you draw attention for the people to need you. And not Christos. The anointed and his anointed. But you see, what that achieves in a congregation listen carefully you raise babies who are perpetually babies I mean yesterday I read several testimonies of people who were appreciating me for whatever you know here there, there you know but there was a striking testimony a member of this church and he said something happened to the house helping the house she literally passed out and died, literally. He said, he could have called the police. He could have called the pastors in Roger. But he said, I knew what to do. Listen, in his words, he said, my pastor taught me the DIY gospel. Hey. Uh, it's my email. 
So my pastor taught me the DIY gospel. So I knew what to do. Prayed for the girl, another the girl, and she bounced back to life. In his email, he said, this thing is real. I said, it's real. We are not called to increase numbers. We are called to raise leaders. It's a different thing. A member cannot, may not be a disciple. They are church members, but they are disciples. A disciple is an ardent follower of Christ, not man. Read your gospel. Jesus Christ related differently with the crowd and the disciples. Often time, perform miracles, feed the crowd, heal the crowd. He will tell them to go away, but he will tell the few disciples, get into the boat. We are going to the other side. Disciples go to the other side with their master. The crowd come and go for the miracle. Hiya, hiya, hiya. In the day and age we live in now, the crowd cannot change the dynamics. Many churches, I dare say, are filled with crowds. Not bad. It's the first place to start. But we need to go beyond just the numbers to grow them into Christ likeness, which is discipleship. Disciples. The Yahweh gospel. But for the lazy Christian who is known as a spiritual hitchhiker, he does not want to leave the nursery. Loves attention, loves affection, loves to be cared for. It's not bad. But it comes a point in time in a family where you receive enough care, you begin to give care to others. Paul said, 1 Corinthians 10, 10, 13. No, 11, 13, 13, 11. When I was a child, I spake as a child. I thought as a child. I understood as a child. But when I became, so a man is what you become. Sir, we must grow up. I said, we must grow up. When I became a man, I put away childish things. God is waiting for sons to emerge from the body of Christ. Sons. Thank God for children, but sons. Sons are not the ones looking for healings and miracles. Sons are vessels to work miracles in God's hand. And I see you right to be a son. <laughs> son. Romans 8, 19. The entire world groans, travails in pain, waiting earnestly for the manifestation of sons. I see sons emerge from logic. Your amen needs to be revived. Give me a turbo charge amen if you're a son. <laughs> 2023 loading. Sons from Rogic emerging. And the word sonship is not gender sensible. Woman self na son, you be son of God. Man na son of God. Don't know vex. All of us are sons. He only speaks of maturity in the Lord. They came to hear and then to be healed. Mark 16 20. Wow. And the disciples went everywhere and preached and the Lord worked through them confirming what they said by many miraculous signs. That's NLT of Mark 16.20. Please take that note. Mark 16.20 NLT. So as they went, the Lord went with them. And literally, it, it was as though he was by their side. When they said the word, he'll confirm the word. Rise, rise up, rise up, be here, be here. You know. So, so the Lord waits 
for his word to be released. And then he's committed to confirming what? His word. So, what is not preached is not confirmed. Oh, yeah. Are you here? I told you the simplicity of the gospel. I said again. Sama, what is not preached is not confirmable. What you don't say, you can't carry. What is too big for your mouth to declare? Your hand is too small to hold. Huh. So open your wide, mouth wide, I will feel it. So, if a preacher desires to see certain things manifest in a church, prayer is okay. But in addition to prayer, teach it. Preach it. You will see it. What is not preached is not confirmable. So those churches who cause prosperity and abundance, they may be going to heaven, but you can see penury around them. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. They may be heaven bound, but you can smell poverty. I have been to some ministries that there are many things in the ministry I admire. Holiness, sanctification, revival, you want to do that? Yeah. But one thing I see sometimes is there's a smell of poverty. And poverty smells. It has a smell, it's a, it's, a, it's a stench. You know why? It's a part of the cause of the fall, the cause of death, spiritual death, the cause of sickness, and the cause of poverty it smells so if you want to see healing in any church teach it preach it so we are not ashamed to preach it why we are seeing results Psalm 107 20 he sent his word and his word healed them and delivered them from their destructions as the word of God is released to you this hallowed day. The Bible declares in John 63, the words Jesus spake, they are what? Spirit and their life. Akumalaya. As these words are coming your way, spirits are entering you. And you are jumping up to good health. Ezekiel 2 2. And the Lord spake, and the Spirit entered me. I decree and declare by the mercy of God that as this word I go, and if you're here, you know, the spirit of life is what? Entering you. It says, it entered me and I stood up upon my feet. It has power to raise you up. From the donkey to the mountaintop, you stand up on your feet. From shame to faith. From non entity to somebody. From nobody to somebody. From being tolerated to being a celebrity. Why? It has a power to stand you up. I declare, cancer is on the run from you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Blindness on the run from you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Lameness on the run from you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Your days will be long. Your days will be healthy. Your days will be strong. In the name of the Lord. He says, at all days, you will still be fruitful. Is that you? Is that you? Are you hearing? Then the Spirit is coming upon you. The Spirit came upon them who heard. You must be a hearer. Church is not for activity. No. Church is for servicing. You come to a service. Change oil. Spark plugs. Get it changed. Renewed. Your, your, your fire and your cylinders. May the Lord service your spirit. Service your soul. Service your psyche. Your emotion. And your finances. 
The Lord said to them in the land of bondage, Exodus 3, 21, 23, said, You will not leave Egypt broke. My God. You will not leave what? Egypt, what? Broke. Conversion. Conversion. Those who know, they know. Conversion. It will not leave Egypt broke. Have you, have you thought about the, 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 the amusement of that story? He said servants will demand from their bosses their gold, their cars, their houses, their Rolex, their jets, their yachts. Imagine the girl at home who helps me, I pay a little salary, say, Daddy, I'm going, give me your car. Change your way, really. Don't craze, don't loco. But guess what? The factor is favor. 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 He said, I will favor you. And there will be a conversion. What was for the Gentiles becomes your own. Can I prophesy to you? You are not living 2022 empty handed. Your amen is revival. I say you're not empty handed. No. You're going with spoils. There shall be a conversion. You are entering 2023. Loaded. Somebody give me five hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Clap your hands. Shout to your God. We the Lord. Oh, prayer. I'm a katabere I'm on a warpath against poverty. You'll be hearing me shout like this for a long time. I found out, Pastor Isaac, the gospel is expensive, but the gospel of revival is more expensive. We don't preach for money. I've not sold a book that I ate from. That's revival. Check out. Audio books are free. YouTube, free. That's what people we'll live for, inheritance for their children. Books. Free. Books. We go to campus, we give books, they were free. That's revival. All they were very expensive. I brought a book signing. Ten dollar, twenty dollar, a gift of a book. Bam, bam, bam. Easy. Freely we've received, freely we gave. <laughs> and you want to stay poor? You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be involved in that. No, 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 no. When they came together, they brought all their things and they laid at the feet of the apostles. They said they lacked nothing. That's not poverty. Nobody lacked anything. Abba, that is solid. You come to church, nobody lacks anything. Abba, that's wealth. You can't tell who's poor, who's rich. Why? It's a revival. We look alike. We walk alike. Do you know, Pastor Isaac, for Judas to have needed to kiss Jesus, they look alike. I mean, that's we look alike. Only for his defenses. Yeah? But we look alike. Look at Diodi, he looks like me. But then it has some extra bodyguard his own security pack it has saved him before so he's not let it go easily praise god hallelujah other that will look alike in some places the pastor is far when you see the fellow pastors ah are you, are you all pastors or <laughs> are you pastor your slave we look alike it's my joy to look like my sons and daughters we look alike I want them to outdo me here. My son was vibrating. I said, This man, they worry. This morning, I said, They charge. I said, That's it. And I said, Just charge. Because the elder will come and talk like an elder. With my, my lavalier microphone, I talk like, You know. You need to charge. I don't need to charge. One word, boom. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
You don't need to break out in sweat to cast out devils. It's in the name of Jesus. Get out. It's not your pressure. Not, your, not virtue. No. You're losing virtue. No. It's his own virtue. Not your virtue. So I lost virtue. What virtue do you lose? Let's pray for Papa here. I lost virtue. I did not lose virtue. It's the virtue of Christ. Refresh. That's okay, but I'm not lost virtue. Yeah, I lost virtue. For one hour, preaching, lost virtue. Ah, is that how they lose virtue? No, no, sir. I have not lost virtue. Anything you touch and take is Christ, not me. I didn't lose it. Freely I receive, freely you take. I'm only a conny pipe. I'm beginning to enjoy ministry with ease. Let me tell you something. This church is coming into a Sabbath year. 2023. For this church, Sabbath year. Don't think Sabbath is for lazy people. No. You'll be walking like you're not walking. Your baby step will be amplified. You'll be a wonder to men. <laughs> DOD. The last three months have been crazily busy for this boy. But I've been stronger than ever before. That's the honest truth. My wife can be a witness. Sometimes in a week, preach six, seven times, almost. But I'm not lost virtue. I'm letting a secret to rest in him. You labor, yes, but you enter rest. So you, you walk from rest. It's not your power. Hey, 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 no, come down. Learn to lie down, just hear worship and say, Lord, I love you. For one hour. Every day. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. There's a place for here. Calm down. Enjoy his presence. Let him massage you. I'm sharing with you secret, huh? Of rest. After 40 days of fasting and prayer, Jesus encountered Satan. And the Bible says, and the angels came and what? Strengthened him. There is a ministry of angels to strengthen you supernaturally. You're working hard, but it doesn't show. They that wait upon the Lord shall render their strength. Mount of wings of eagle. As I'm done today, I'm on, on the way to go and preach somewhere. Four hours journey from here. Four hours from here. I'll, today, 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 that's a lot of by God's grace. <laughs> it's not normal. Though. Is the mercy and grace of God. They don't wait upon the Lord. <laughs> Sabbath is on the corner. Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath. You'll be, see, we're ending our seventh year. I'm already preaching cross of a message. We as a church, we're coming into our seventh year. February 26 will be our sixth year, but it begins our seventh year. What's in the scripture? In Deuteronomy 51 and 2, it says, after seven years, they shall make what it is. And it's the Lord's release. <laughs> there are things that have been hanging over you for so long, but you're coming into a year of what? Release. Tony, release. Ancient mantles. Ancient anointing, sir. Release. You are about to become another man under God. Release. Abba. You're not in a normal church. You're in a school. You're in a training center. Gear, gather, equip, activate, release. They all judge. I said, where are they all going to? I said, okay, he gave us gear, sir. God, can you change this gear to gear rest? Let them rest soon. Before they go, let them rest. Gear rest. But they are going and coming. It's okay. It's the calling. Judy has gone to London to pray for us. We'll meet him there. Some are in Canada. Some, no, it's okay. It's okay. If it's God's will, go. The more the merrier. One goes, seven comes in. It's a training center. I'm only a boss. When I get to your own job, you step out. That's okay. It's not a court. Court, you don't live anyhow. No, sir. Free entry, free exit. What is of the Lord? I will bless you. Why? When the last days, there's a movement of salt all over the earth. Salt, salt, light, 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 light. Going to salt cities and light nations and light other local assemblies. <laughs> How 
we put the Holy Ghost for just one minute? Say, Lord, what you're doing on the earth, do with me. Pass me not back. Show me mercy. Pass me not back. Can somebody pray? Oh, pass me not back. Count me in. Revival is here again. Count me in. Let me not be careless. Let me not miss the time of visitation. Please pray. I beg of you. I beg of you. It's a Kairos moment. One minute to do that. Oh, Lord, pass me not by. Hey! Shamiana nano go lady. Koromanaya no go by yanea. Gramaya neo si ano no 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 no. Ha! Kamayana met no mo no mo no yanea. Ha! Krambaye! Ask the Lord to refresh you. Come unto me, all they who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ask the Lord for rest. Rest round about. Rest in my mind. Rest in my emotions. Cast your care upon him. Cast every concern, for he careth for you. Be anxious for nothing but in everything. By prayer and supplication, we thank him in Make your request known to him. Ah, lay it at the feet of Jesus. The concerns of what to eat, what to drink, what to wear, he's more than enough. It's more than enough. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give you praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout at the game. Please be seated. Have a few more moments to push. Somebody getting blessed? Yeah. Hallelujah. Beloved, when you find yourself going through any area of challenge, please don't miss the simplicity of this teaching. I beg of you. I said to you, this should be one of the highlight messages for this year. If you really want to grow into discipleship, because it calls for responsibility on your part, on my part, to do something. You're waiting for the water to be stared to do something. Whatever challenge you may face, any area, for instance, you're facing a challenge regarding your health. Hmm. Don't take time to go and read about how to be a uh, sir. That's a word, a millionaire. How to prosper. You don't need prosperity. If you die, you will not need money. Do you hear me? What you do, it's not money. You don't need a wife. Your, your child with your help. Oh Lord, my wife. No, 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 no. If, you, if the enemy takes you out, you can't marry again. So what you need now is health. So please listen. So what you do, take time out. We have to apply spiritual intelligence. Go to your Bible. Go to messages. Start from your own house, homegrown house. Go on YouTube, Facebook. What has been preached from here around healing? There are many. Sit down for days. Sit down, sit down. All is going up and down will help you. You don't have to, you're very busy. No. You see, let me not go there. <laughs> if you don't take time to rest in the word. God forbid, not you. Somebody outside here may be laid to rest. So that time you fail to make will make itself. Not for you. I'm saying this. We have to prioritize what is important to us. The rich also cry. Go to your national hospital there. Go to cancer clinics all over the world. And all kinds of places. The rich are there. If they could buy health, they would sell everything to buy health. Why? No value or monetary value can be placed on good health. Don't miss this point too. Next to your salvation, the next thing to pursue is, how do I get well and stay well? Then when other things come, you have the health to enjoy it. That's why 
you will be making a gross mistake. Please listen. To be in a service like this and in your mind, I'm not ill. I don't have a health challenge. Why is he going on and on and on? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Listen. The word that heals is the word that sustains. Yes, health is in degrees. Some people are not sick, but they're not well. They're not sick, but they're not well. They're not well. How are you? I don't know. He's doing me somehow. Are you sick? I don't know. I don't, you're not well. Do you want to get to that point? No. When you're well, to stay well, the word. The word. The word, when it's taken in, strengthens you to higher levels of health. There are degrees of health. Third John 2. I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospereth. And as he says, I would that you are strong in body as your spirit is strong. He says, my friend, I will that you're strong in body as your spirit is strong. So it takes a strong spirit to sustain your body. Are you here? Ah, I pray you are. You know why? People who sit in this kind of meetings and despise it, God forbid, in the day of challenge and battle, they don't have the necessary ammunition to fire back. I've said over and over again, the time to prepare for war is not in war time, it's in peace time. Huh. Uh, there is a law of place in Genesis 8.22. It's called the law of seed, time, and harvest. As the earth abides, summer and winter, cold and, cold and heat, seed, time, and harvest. What that law proceeds, if I may say, is that a man is not permitted, please listen, this is my own uh, uh, paraphrase now, a man is not permitted to reap what you've not sown. Ah, yeah. So to reap hell, what do you do? You sow the seed of health. Praise God. Praise God. The universal seed is the seed of the word of God. In the parable of the sower, Jesus said in Luke 8, 11, that the word is the seed. Wow. The word is the seed. The word is the seed. So when you locate the seed of any area of concern in the Bible, please listen, I beg of you in the name of Jesus Christ. When you locate it and you what? You sow it. Where? Please listen. Sir, it's not here. You begin the seed from your mind. But until the seed, please listen. Until the seed moves from here to here, it cannot profit you. How do you know the difference? If the word is here and there's crisis, what you got will show. Under pressure, what you know will show. Without pressure, you look like you're okay. You're packaging. Aha, it's your packaging. Everybody's packaged. Hey, reviver, hey, reviver, reviver, reviver. But when Delilah appears before you naked, you will know that you're revived. At home, you're it's okay, revived. But one second, it will show you some more color. We'll know how revived you are inside you. It's pressure that reveals what we've got. Please listen. So the question is, man of God, how do I move the word from my head to my heart? That is the subject of this message. They came, oh boy, to hear and to what? Are you here, please? I almost wish I could open your mind and just boom. But the Lord will have mercy on us. 
you move the word from your mind to your heart, listen carefully, by listening continually. Say with me, continually. Hmm. Let me say again, you know, in the time of crisis, what you have will show. And life shows up with many things that people are not prepared for. It's just, just, it's just since life happened, what happened? Life, that's life. But when you're equipped with what? With the word, with faith, guess what? You can enjoy the truth of first John 5 4. <laughs> this is what? The victory that overcomes what? The world. What? What test will come to you outside the world? Is in the world. So that means every mountain is climbable. Every test is overcomable by faith. That faith comes through a process. Say process. Process. What's the process? Romans 10, 17. Listen. Faith comes, please listen, by hearing one and what? Hearing two by what? By the word of God. Wow. Listen, sir. That's why I said it's possible to hear but not hear. Are you here? I'm giving you a Bible. Psalm 6 to 11. I believe it is. Once has the Lord spoken. Is that correct? That's right. Twice have I heard that power belongs to God. Give me an LT. I want to share something here. So we see here, once he spoke, twice I heard. Do you agree with me? He spoke once, I heard twice. What does that mean? You first hear with your physical ears. Strike one. Strike two. You hear what? With your inner ears. Your heart. Wow. So you haven't heard until you've heard and heard and heard again. Kaya. Come on. Come on. I'm preaching myself happy. That means there are those who are coming to church who think they're hearing, but they haven't heard. Give me an LT. Bible school. All right. Here, please. This is your Bible. Look. God has spoken how? Uh -huh. Plainly, right? Guess what? And I've heard how many? What happened? Many times we saw twice. Oh. That means many times is what equates twice. Again and again and again. It drops from here to here. Twice is head, heart. But to move from head to heart many times. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. See, it means you must be willing to hear one of Good Heart's healing messages or Pastor Abimbala's healing messages until you can preach it. If they wake you up, you can preach it. Why? It may just be here, not here. How do we know when it's moved from here to here? Listen carefully. We don't need to ask anybody. The result will show. John 8, 31, 32. If you continue in my word, you will what? Be my disciple. That word disciple again, no. Not, not, not members. Just member. No, disciple. Carry your Bible for yourself. Learn to pray. Going from one prayer house to one prayer house. Ten years. We're entering December now. You carry yourself, go to your village, and put yourself. Yeah, 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 for, for the new year. One hair balance. What's that? You are a God. According to scripture. Psalm 82 verse 6. Said, know you not you are God whom the word of God came unto. The word makes you a God. A God in finance, a God in health, a God in marriage. Once you know it, said, you shall know the truth and the truth you know and act upon shall what? Make you free. So when you're free, I know you got it. 
otherwise hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing don't stop hearing it may sound boring don't let the devil deceive you the devil likes to distract believers we're living in a world of gross distraction and the enemy knows that if ever the word is allowed to move from your mind your head to your heart he's done for so he tries to hijack the movement from here to here here gives you a sense of religious comfort i, I can quote john 3 16. but do i live it do i act it do i believe it so even those who cannot quote it they are at a better place they will pursue the truth but when you think you can quote it but you don't know it you don't live in it Ah, on a three count charge against Satan, Jesus said, It is written, it is written, it is written, and he wrote off the Satan off his back. When you know what is written, you can write up the devil in every area of your life. You shall know the truth, and the truth you know shall make you free. So we know that we know when we are enjoying liberty. <laughs> Question is, are you free? Health, finance, marriage, your family, your 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 boxing, your sparring partner with your wife. Pa pa hey pa pa pa. Something's not right. Why? Marriage is better. Two are better than one. If one falls, the other can leave the other. Is meant for enhancement of spirituality and all around life. But if your own marriage is a wrestling match, go to scriptures. Why? You're not allowed to reap what you've not planted. If a man knows that principle, you can't plant corn and expect mango. Come on, come on, are you okay? I plant a corn, I will, I will get corn. I know. You can go to sleep. I know corn will show. But we plant corn. Say, hey, there's no mango. Hey, yeah. End of the year, no mango. No mango. Hey, yeah. And they said revival to revival. Hey, yeah. What did you plant? January February. What were you planting? Pray. You're not praying. Pray meeting. The watches. You're not showing up. And then you want to be right. No, 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 no. You can't get what you've not sown. These are universal principles we're trying to break. I said to you, God has exalted his word of all of his names he's bound to his word they came to hear and then to be healed you know what i see what i see as i stand here some of your faces are hard and i know why it's hard god is giving you responsibility you don't like it you lack authority but not responsibility he said, no, it doesn't work. Authority must be commensurate to responsibility. As a child of God, we must be responsible to know, do the word of God. Huh. <sighs> Can you spell the word heart for me? Heart. H E a R once again H E A R T. All right, remember the teaching? We must strive to move the word from the head to where? How do it? By hearing and hearing and hearing. Wow. And I said to you, you must be willing to hear till the word is seemingly so boring, but you just know I've got it. Let me say this to you. Oh, yeah, help me, Lord. I wish I had all the time in the world. But you see, sir, the way you know you have heard, right, is when you see. You know when the teacher is teaching in class? Um, two plus two. What? Class say what? Four. Three times three. What is it? Nine. Then someone say, hey, hey, teacher, I see. What do you see? You are hearing. So there is a point of hearing that you get understanding. You say, I see. So 
hearing long enough leads to seeing and what you don't see you can't capture Hiya. I see you got it sir what you don't see you can't capture Habakkuk 2 verse 1 he says uh, uh, ah, I will stand up on my watch uh, yes to see what he said to me huh? to see what he said to me <laughs> so seeing is the next level of hearing so hearing is continuous until you arrive at the event seeing Psalm 119 verse 130 listen the entrance of the word gives light see light light and it gives understanding to his people so we're hearing and hearing and hearing till light comes you know say ah i see it will come upon in time as you diligently hear enough healing messages healing scriptures you will come to a point of, ah i see what do you see my body is the temple of the holy ghost what do you see i'm already healed by his stripes i'm not the sick trying to get healed i am the healed and satan is trying to steal my health i see i am the well and not the sick hello somebody it's a paradigm shift by revelation hallelujah hallelujah h-e-a-r-t let's read very quickly i will pray my son this is how we listen to attend to my words you know what it means for a week to attend to you on the plane in a party they are tending to the door over you attend to god's word respect it incline thine ears unto my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes i wish i had time but these are ways to take god's word as medicine eyes 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 read it read it read it read it keep them in the midst of thine heart that's why I asked to spell heart. The key is getting the word to the heart. Verse 22, for they are life unto those that find them. So there is a process of finding. Whatever is a challenge, make it a subject matter. Pursue scripture, pursue books. You don't read today, you can't be tomorrow's leaders. Today's readers are tomorrow's leaders. From the Bible to good books that inspire you. And open you up to the depth of scripture. Read. Don't reinvent the wheel. The wheel is there. Use the wheel. It says, Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. Which means constantly meditate. Ponder. To, to meditate means to re, literally to regurgitate. To chew the word. Jeremiah 15, 16. Thy words were found. I did eat them. They were the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. So when you find the word and you eat them, how do you eat them? Meditate. They become joy and rejoice in your heart. The word, the word, the word. Look at this. Verse 22. For they are life unto those that find them and health. That word health means medicine. Medicine. Health to all their flesh, skin, heart, kidney, liver, intestine, cerebral system, nervous ocular muscular all the flesh that means in the word of god there is a property to deal with any challenge in your flesh there's nothing too big or too small for the word every disease is treatable by this god's medicine of the word are you here remember i said to you they that heard the holy ghost fell they came to hear and to be healed those who come to be healed may not be healed but those who come to hear will be healed. And this morning, I believe there are a good number of us that are hearing and are becoming healed, becoming stronger in the name of Jesus. Verse number 23. 
keep thy heart with all diligence for out of it are the issues of life hallelujah out of your heart are the forces of life glory to God once again can we spell heart H E A R T thank you now you may want to write H E all right and you may want to write H E A R all right you want to write a R T. They're all parts of the word heart. He, here, art. Wow. He, here, art. The art of hearing is what gives you access to your heart. He, art, here. Art. A R T. Art. So the art of hearing. What gives you access to your heart? Anything you want to get to your heart, negative or positive, hear it long enough. You know, worries is a negative type of meditation. So, I'm worrying, I'm worrying, I'm worrying. You, you already know how to meditate, just on the wrong thing. Yeah, you already, you already meditated. I'm worried. Hey, 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 Nigeria, I'm worried, I'm worried. What are you reading? Look at the news you're reading. Now look at the news, look at the news. But if you shift away from the news and go to the good news <laughs> and feed your soul with the good news, guess what? You will produce the good news in spite of the environment. Did he not say, beloved, that in famine you shall laugh? Let me say it again. Hey, logicians, home global, online, in famine, as an apostolic house. Public company, we shall laugh. Rise on your feet. Shout a big amen. Rise on your feet. Hallelujah. Can you for one minute thank the Lord for grace to listen, to hear, that will constantly incline our ears to God's word, that virtue from His word will enter us by extension, healing, and all the other properties contained in the word. Oh, lift your voice, lift your voice. Let's ask the Lord to forgive us. In the areas of laziness and lethargy, let's repent. For some, for days, we will not pick up our Bible. Dust has covered it for weeks on end. Let's make a commitment, dedication, that we're going to explore the word of life by grace. Can you ask the Lord to create a hunger for the word? We're praying now. Let's pray. Create a hunger for your word in my heart. Please pray sincerely. Hunger. What you hunger for, you pursue. It said that the pursuit of, of a man is a proof of his desire. When you hunger for the word, you pursue it. Night and day, you met upon the word of Lord. God gave Joshua, Joshua 1 8, a kingdom such a principle. Thou shalt meditate upon the word night and day. By so doing, oh, you learn how to deal with the affairs of this life and you learn how to prosper and have good success by meditation. Are we praying? 30 more seconds. Grace. We're about to go into a holiday season. How do we apply ourselves in the season of holiday before the new year? Lord Grace. To reflect, to meditate, contemplate. What message are you going to hear night and day? In your car, in your ears, the earphone. Ah, it's the only way. It's the only way. What we don't sow will not reap. Father Grace will sow your word in our hearts. As a family, as a family. Oh, Samika Tebala. Lord, we receive that grace. I am Tepelosos. Thank you, sir. Receive that grace. Ten more seconds. That grace. That grace. To be a student. Bible says, study to show yourself approved. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly. Divine in the word of God. Father, grace upon my life. To the next level of study. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? The heavens are open. No more laziness. No more going for days without opening the Bible. No. That's a plan of the enemy to keep the book of life closed. Open it, and your destiny will open fresh. Thank you, Lord. We'll give you praise in the name of Jesus Christ. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Good Heart Obi Equeme. 
lead pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the apostolic leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, HORM, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 0805-223-4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God. It will produce intimacy with His Spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.